Hi guys, this is Lily Boo Art, and I'm back with another video with some news. So, I did start an Instagram just for like updates and posts because I post quite a bit on there. And um, yeah, so go follow that. I'll say my name in the description and I'll try to do a link to it, but I don't know. Uh, but, anyways, for today's video, I am going to be doing some more stuff with sketchbooks because why not? So, right here I have the two sketchbooks that I just did last. This one I already did a sketchbook tour of, and we're going to be doing a very short sketchbook tour of this one today. Then, I got my brand new sketchbooks in the mail today, so I'm going to design one of these with you guys. And then I'm going to design the next one in the next video, or whatever, because usually my plans never go. Like I said I was going to do a create and destroy video, it never happened. Uh... But, um, yeah, so we'll tour this one, and then we'll do the covers for these. And also, I do have some plans for these, but I'll get into those later. But right now, let's start with the sketchbook tour. Alright, so first off, we've got the cover, obviously. And this cover has actually been through, like, a lot more than it should have been through. Like, it's got, it started with just a normal white sketch in the back, and then it ended like this, with paint splashed on the cover and everything, yada yada yada. But, um, yeah, so I'm quite ashamed of the first few drawings. The first few drawings are rough sketches. Like, this one here is of my first Tamagotchi that I got. Um, I just need to check these. Uh, but, yeah. And then this is a drawing of, I don't even know what half of these are, because so many of these are in an old style. Because I stopped drawing in this one for, like, a few months, and then my style was completely changed by then. But I just wanted to finish off this sketchbook anyway. So this is just a drawing of, it seems like a girl in some sort of dress. I don't know. Um, this is a disco cat. I know I did this after Christmas when I got uh, a light. It was like, it's like a cat light, but uh, yeah. Then over here, we have some weird fur creatures. With, that one has like hard ears, um, but yeah. So my cat's meowing like an insane person. Stop. Uh, but right here, I've got some cats that I drew, I think. This is, I know what this is. I only know what this is. This is called a bouncing cat. I think they were in the last, in the last sketchbook. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. Um, oh, yes. This I was planning to build into my room without the curtain part, but it never happened. I just got a loft bed instead. Um, and then right here... This is a custom Tamagotchi house, and yeah, because I'm very, very much into Tamagotchi stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. So this is, I'm not going to know that. Uh, so anyways, uh, there we go. Uh, so this is Nimbus Moon. Uh, she is my Roblox character in uh, Royal High. I don't ask why I like Royal High, I just do, okay? I just, I just do. Um, and then right here, this is Marapuchi as a human. Marapuchi is a Tamagotchi. And then, so this is Marapuchi as a human. And then over here, I don't know what this is, but it has some insane legs. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this is. It just has, like, really weird legs. Uh, um, I'm just referring to it as it. Okay. Uh, this is uh, the hair. I'm sorry, but the hair. The eyes. Oh, the hair. Yeah, move on. Uh, this is a drawing I never finished. <laughs> this is, like, a bedroom, I think. It's supposed to be a bedroom. Um, this is also a drawing I never finished. There's a YouTube play button there. I, 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 I want that. I, I did, yeah. Uh, this is a room that I never finished. I have a lot of stuff in here that I don't finish. This is... I just wrote this at, like, midnight. This is just a bunch of stuff that... Like, a bunch of videos that I like to watch. Uh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> And there's me and my brothers yelling stuff in German. Uh, was I trying to make a DDLC? What? So I think I was trying to make a DDLC thing. Uh, DDLC as in Doki Doki Literature Club, but what? He's, he's, the hair, the minuscule amounts of hair. I can't, I can't with the middle school amounts of hair. I'm sorry. Uh, and this is okay, but I just don't like the boots. What is this? I don't understand. Oh, and then my Tamagotchi died, and then I panicked in a frenzy, because it doesn't show your family line after your Tamagotchi dies. So I panicked at trying to draw every single Tamagotchi up to the one that died, because <laughs> I don't remember a lot of them. And then this is where the drawings get to my newer styles, like st styles as in plural, but because I just, I, I can't decide on a style. 
Um, but yeah, so there's this one, which I actually quite like. I really do like the tie. I think it was inspired by Yasuko Nene from uh, TBHK, which is uh, Sweet Bound Tanako Kun. And then I don't know what this is, but I know that I used rose water to do the eyeshadow on that. Oh, yes. And then this is where we get to the good, like the good, actual good stuff right here. So I have this thing that I made with my cousins. Um, and it's called the Blue War Academy series, but basically it's this whole universe, uh, based around a school called Blue Aura Academy, there's a planet called Blue Aura, and it, basically everyone has, like, insane powers, and it's, it's pretty cool, and then, so I quickly sketched out some of the characters here, um, <laughs> this is another Roblox character, but, uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna skip this, because I at least, I hate these next few drawings, like, a lot, uh, except for this one. This one's fine. This one's okay. This is when I still had R Orion as my main character. I don't have her as my main character. But, um, yeah. And then this right here is a drawing of uh, Nightmare Chan. She is a doll that I made quite a bit ago. She's quite scary. But I, I actually like her a lot. And then this is her as a human in the Blue War series. And then this is Mr. Kinofita. We don't like him. And then... <laughs> okay. Uh... Right here, I'm actually very proud of this drawing because this is the one that gets most complimented by everyone. <laughs> I don't know what about this. I like this drawing a lot, uh, and even though it is my most favorite, why did I say it was my most favorite? Because it's not, <laughs> but this is one of my, one of my most favorites because I just like the coloring. I just like it in general. Uh, it gets the most compliments out of people, so thank you for that at the least. Uh, uh, yeah. And then right here, I redesigned my me, rep like the me representing character. But she has like her whole, whole she has her whole different lore like line. Uh, but yeah, like there's the happy one, the mean one, the sad one, and the insane one. Uh, and yeah, this is Orion in full color. But I honestly changed her color scheme because I do not like this. This is not this. That's not that's I. The only thing that I kept is that her hair is black and her skin is completely white. She's 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 a ghost and then you guys can read this because i'm not gonna read it i'm i sent it to a guy who uh, uh yeah i sent it to just a guy because i thought it was funny he laughed at it but <laughs> yeah uh anyways and right here i'm proud of this drawing too this is just some random person i don't know um but i like what she says right here for some reason you guys can read that because i'm also not reading that um but yeah, I just like her hair clip. I like her bag. I, I just like how I overall did this. I'm getting, as you can see, I'm actually getting better at hand throughout this book. Um, again, here's the me character and then the mean one, the, the, the mean version of her basically. Then right here, I drew another one of my OCs, which is this one is based off of uh, one of my cousins. Uh, so this character is Ruby and Pearl. Uh, we're gonna skip this page just for personal reasons. Um, and then right here, we have Hollow. She's my favorite, like, actually, like, my favorite mystical OC. I have these four OCs that I call the mystical, like, the mystical OCs. Because they're not OCs that I use a lot, but I love them. And they're set in a whole different universe than Blue Warrior Academy. Um, I don't like the next, uh, mystical characters, so I'm gonna change them out. I hate this one so, so much. I cannot stress how much I hate this one. Um... But then there's this one. She's okay. She's okay. Um, but yeah. And then, oh my gosh. <laughs> so I love this drawing too much. This is like a 10 second drawing of Muichiro. I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name. I'm bad at pronouncing things, okay? Uh, this is a 10 second drawing of an anime character that I didn't make up. He's from an anime. I'm not saying which. Uh, and then this is the logic of, like, when I draw stuff. I'll, like, draw something for, like, eight hours, and I'll hate it. And then I'll draw something for ten seconds, and I'll love it. It's just true. It's just true. Um, but, yeah. Then right here is a quick drawing of another one of my OCs. Um, I'm getting slowly better at hands. <laughs> ah, yes, Nezuko. If people don't know her, just look up the name Nezuko. You'll see, you'll see who she is. But, uh, yeah. So I drew Nezuko right here. And then I drew Grey from Fairy Tale because my my aunt wanted me to. Okay, chill. Right here, uh, this is my new main OC. This is Pale Moon. Uh, what's it called? I thought that I was gonna make her short, but I made her tall instead because 
she wants it. Yeah, I just want her to be tall, okay? Um, but yeah, she's pretty weird. Like, her wings, for for example, are actually curved. Like, they're, they're curved. I don't know what's the point of that, but it's just a thing. And I really like this character, like, a lot. Right here, I don't like that page. I don't like that page either. I don't like a lot of the drawings in here. Um, this one's okay, mostly because I just like the cats on this page. Um, as I said, this sketchbook tour will be quick. This is another one of the Blue Aura students. Uh, I used to have him as Pale Moon's boyfriend, but I changed him out for someone else. <laughs> that just, like, threw him away. <laughs> that sounds so harsh, but, uh, yeah. And then right here, this is a watercolor thing that I'm currently still working on because I'm lazy. Uh, this is a watercolor drawing of Pale Moon. And, uh, yeah, that's that. And then I don't like, I don't like this drawing. A lot of my friends do, but I dislike it highly. And then I also dislike this one highly. The, I was just trying, like, different types of eyes here. Um, this one, this drawing right here, I actually do love. Like, something about it is just good. <laughs> I don't know what about it, but it, it just, it's just good. It just is good. I don't like these two. We're gonna... <laughs> I don't like these two right here, but I love this one. I love this one a lot. I just like the little ruffles in her dress. I was trying to do different styles stuff or something. Um, But yeah, and then right here is a bedroom with like a really short lower area that's like only one foot tall. Um, Right here, I was practicing drawing like tiny like young characters uh, most of my characters that i draw are usually teenagers and that's it <laughs> i can't draw anyone younger or older than a teenager for some reason it's just like a thing i just can't it's just one of my problems that i have um right here i like this drawing quite a bit i love the socks and i like the uh sweater and i love the hat i really really want a hat with like the bunny paws on it for some reason it just looks cool and then right here, these are some of my old characters that were like together, just like a quick sketch. Like it used to be Dusk and Pale Moon, as you can see here. Uh, but yeah, uh, a lot of these, I'm not even joking when I say I switched out uh, these two. Uh, <laughs> that voice crack there was perfect, perfection right there. Uh, so I switched out that character, I switched out that girl and that dude for two other people. And I haven't drawn, uh, the other one, but, uh, yeah, I was going to finish this drawing, but I never did, because I never wanted to, it just didn't fit right with the storyline of Blue War Academy, so I never finished it, um, but yeah, I never finished this one either, because it didn't, I just didn't feel this drawing very much, um, I tried to do something with Posca's, and it didn't end up working, but the hands are getting better, as you can see, okay, on the other hand, um, like, here's a good note, I love this drawing so much, like, just yes <laughs> um so you know how beforehand there was that one character in mist kinoshita so this is misty <laughs> kinoshita his older sister but she's still shorter than him somehow uh and uh yeah as you can see older sister i just like something about this drawing okay just something about the hair the outfit just the overall vibe like the, all the flowers and stuff i just like this drawing and uh yeah right here is just a rough sketch of just random stuff as you can see the me character right there the mean one the insane one and we had the other ones um i made a new one that's the mellow one her hair's down like always down like the like the sad one but yeah right here we've got some random girl with the biggest eyes of all of my drawing styles like oh my goodness um uh but yeah i don't like this drawing a lot but i know that a lot of the people i know do this is one of the drawings where the hands failed like quite a bit they failed like really bad um yeah then right here this is my um this is my other mano seat that like my new other mano seat like me and my uh cousin switched out two of our ocs for these two characters like my cousin's character ruby and pearl got switched out with cat pearl my oc orion got switched out with uh, pale moon and i did draw them but they like created the storyline and lore of their characters because i like when okay let me explain something so the blue Roar academy um isn't <sighs> the blue Roar academy universe isn't made by just me it's made by me and my cousins and uh sometimes my cousin's friend but yeah um yeah 
And then right here, this is a sketch of Panlin's room, like part of it, at the least. She has two cats in her room. And then I love this page. I did like the eyes. I was trying uh, this one style I saw where you use, uh, there was this little video I saw on Pinterest about breaking the silhouette of the eyes to help with expressions. So I was trying that out. And I also created a good drawing along the way. So that was a good thing. Okay, so these are two of my new OCs also. So this is Wisteria. Um, she looks quite vicious, but a lot of people see that she's cute, and I don't see it. But, <laughs> sorry, Wisteria. But, uh, yeah, she is what is called a Shadow Beast human, uh, and I'll explain that later. But, basically, she protects the borders of the Blue War Academy school, and, uh, yeah, she has a baseball bat that's also, that doubles as a flute. Don't know how that works, but it just does. Uh, she's what's called a flute girl of the flute forest. And the flute forest is outside of the Blue War School. <sighs> the lore is pretty confusing. I'll have to do a video explaining the entire lore of Blue War Academy because I don't even know a lot of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a wisteria. She looks very vicious, but she's like the most hyper tiny cinnamon roll that exists. And then this is her friend, uh, Marcus. Like they're very close, like they were, friends since birth. One of my friends that thought that that was drool coming from his mouth. It's a bang, okay? I'm not very good at drawing things. But he's actually the only flute boy. Like, the flute forest is legit just flute girls. Um, there's, like, the forest outside the school that's, like, flute player people. They're all, they can't speak, none of them, except for Wisteria and Marcus. But he's the only flute boy, and a lot of people say that he looks like a girl, and I don't see it. I'm just gonna say that. Right here, I drew two narwhals as humans, and I love this drawing, like, so much. Like, just something about it. And then, I keep saying that. <laughs> Alright, right here. This is where I'll explain Shadow Beasts, okay? So, this is what a Shadow Beast is. These are two minor Shadow Beasts. They, uh, soak about outside of the flute forest, like, out on the outer rim so they're far away from the school because the flute forest is huge these are two minor shadow beasts right here that i just sketched um they can be up to 12 feet tall a queen shadow beast right here can be up to 14 feet tall and it has multiple horns and wings from its back and then this is a king shadow beast they can be up to 20 feet tall and they have three sets of arms they're pretty freaky and then good shadow beasts, which can turn human, like Marcus and Wisteria, usually look like this and are very are not very noticeable. But uh, there aren't many of them left because the bad shadow beasts, which are these, tried killing them all off. But Marcus and Wisteria were able to escape. Um, and yeah, these are just some e extra characters who go to Blue War Academy. They're not main at all. I just sketched them one day and never looked at them again. <laughs> um. <laughs> This is the best right here, okay? So I gender swapped three of my characters as a joke and then showed it to my cousins because it, it it's just funny. So I gender swapped uh, my cousin, uh, not my cousin, but I gender swapped my character Zay. I gender swapped my character Pale Moon. And I hate this one in the back. I gender swapped Cat Pearl and I, it just doesn't look right. And then right here, um, this is some wolf girl who goes to the school also and oh hi izzy and then this is marcus and pale moon as you can see they're like best of friends and that's who i switched out that's who i switched out dusk with uh i tried to draw hollow again and it didn't work <laughs> um then right here i did another one of those eyes because i just love these eyes they're just so fun and happy and then right here uh so this is actually based off of a cat uh, named Yumiko, and I drew her as a human, um, she looks, she, I'm just gonna say this, she looks calm and docile, but she is so freaking vicious. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so then I drew my cat as a human. He would look like that, okay? He would look like that, I'll show you. Alright, so, uh, this is my cat Izzy, and I drew him as a human, but, uh, the reason that one of his fangs is sticking out on the photo is because, as you can see right there, if you can quickly look, uh, he has a fang, um, on his, on the left side of his mouth that sticks out because, uh, he escaped once and then got ran over. He was fine, luckily, as you can see, he is alive, but, uh, his lip was just a little bit torn in the process. Uh, we don't even know how he escaped, like, we don't know how, but now he doesn't set foot out of the house. Um... But, yeah.
yeah so that's izzy and uh that's why i drew him like that because he's just very he's not vicious but he deserves some claws because yeah he doesn't he, he also doesn't like being picked up so i just thought that the expression looked fine on him but yeah all right back to the video back to the video yeah, that's why I drew Izzy like that, and he seems kind on camera, but, uh, he is kind, but he's just a little bit snobby, like, he thinks, he obviously, uh, he is a little bit snobby, um, but, um, yeah, and then moving on, uh, I tried to draw a 21-year-old, it didn't work, uh, she just looks like a 15-year-old again, um, but I'm actually doing a small comic book right now with, uh, Mai and this cat named Sleepy, um, and then right here, see, my style keeps switching over and over and over. This is just, uh, like a sketch type drawing, I guess. <laughs> my mom said it was interesting, so, yeah. Um, but basically, it's like one of those drawings that's like, I drew it in purple line first and then add sketches lines, or I would just draw it and add sketches lines to it. Um, but, yeah. Uh, one sec, my cat is eating a plant. Alright, continuing. Uh, I tried to draw Nezuko, messed up drastically. Um, then I just did some of my eyes that I draw. From time to time, I drew Pale Moon again. Um, yeah. Then I drew Pale Moon in high detail. Like, this is what Pale Moon actually were to look like if she were, if she were human. This is what she would look like. Um, but yeah, I posted... Uh, my drawing process of this on my Instagram, so again, please check that out. Um, and then over here, so this is like the villain of uh, Blue War Academy, like not the main villain, but she's like one of those villains that like no one, like no one likes her at in the school. Like everyone just oh like, like no one likes her. She's like the mean girl. And I tried, we did make her you know blonde at first because just stereotypical you know dumb blonde, but. And then I changed her hair to brown because I felt that I should, like, I just didn't want to do that. It just didn't seem right. But <laughs> this is Raylor. <laughs> ignore her name. Um, but as you can see, she is the bane of Pale Moon and Zades and Cat's existence. She's pretty short, and I'm not even joking when I said her power is major royalty. Um, she dyed her hair pink. <laughs> it was brown, but it, she dyed it pink. And she always wears makeup because she 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 thinks she's royalty she just thinks that she is uh and she kind of is just a little bit this is a pile of cats <laughs> um right here are some things from an anime that i watch uh you know people who watch this anime you know what i'm talking about here um then right here this is a drawing i'm working on of cat pearl and i think that's mostly where the sketchbook right here like kind of more ends and then right here is something i'm working on on my Instagram, um, I'm working on a van made out of pure cardboard. Not even joking. <laughs> you can go look at that. Um, then I'm working on this drawing right here. Um, but yeah, that's where most of these drawings end. Oh my gosh, don't look at that. That's uh, that. Uh, that uh, anyways, <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the last sketchbook I did, and I marked the dates on the inside. Um, but those are the last two sketchbooks I did, and uh, yeah. So I'll just set these aside. I'll probably make a shelf where I'll set my artwork or like uh, so my like friends can study them because for some reason my friends keep trying to ask like can you teach me how to draw and I'm like I don't know how to draw but you can look at my sketchbooks. Um, but yeah now let's design uh, one of these book covers real quick. I'm just gonna you know choose which one. So this one right here just looks right to me. Just in a way, it just looks right. Um, but yeah, we're gonna design this one. And I have, like, I'm gonna do this one first, but um, I have a few different ideas. So I feel that I should have a doodle sketchbook and a like actual like art sketchbook. Like um, this you saw right here, these are a lot of my doodles, but there were like some good art mixed in, as I said. Uh, if I'm talking confusing, I'm sorry, it's very late. Um, but, yeah, so I'm going to do one notebook for, um, one sketchbook for, like, my personal drawings, and then I'm going to do one sketchbook for, like, my more serious drawings that I intend to show to you guys more often, and the ones that I intend to, like, have be good and in full color and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, so I think I'll choose this one as my serious sketchbook, and this one as my doodle sketchbook. So, let's start with the cover of this one. 
All right, so right here, I'm just uh, starting with a simple thing that I add to almost every single one of my sketchbooks. I'm starting with a simple, quick little rainbow because I don't use my Poscas a lot, actually. I use them way less than I expected, and yeah. I'm just doing some stuff using the Poscas, and I pulled out my Neko Atsume stickers and a few other stickers to add details, and then I added a small wild card from a tiny Uno I got, some stickers, I typewrited some words out to add on, I pulled stickers out of old notebooks, added pieces of comic books, and added rainbow details, and then I added a quick rainbow border to finish it all off, and yeah, there we go. And then I just added the spine, and... Then I added on the last little touches, and then I waited for a while for the last touch to dry. But, um, yeah, there's my sketchbook. Alright, and there we have it. We have... Okay, <laughs> so this actually... Oh my gosh. <laughs> this took longer than I thought. Um, ignore, like, the white paint. I'd just leave that there. <laughs> um... But it has a very messy vibe to it, and that's actually fine, because it is actually very well connected together my dogs are barking in the background ignore that um but yeah it has a very like messy vibe to it or like cluttered vibe and i really do like it i um so first uh i was tearing stickers out of a lot of my old like older books like my older older sketchbooks like there's this one but i don't think i've shown on camera in a while but um yeah that's one of my older sketchbooks and i was taking this sticker out of it and a few other neko atsume stickers and then uh this is a pic this is a page of my favorite manga um that i printed out because i don't have the actual first book of the manga i just have this side story one um and i've seen the anime but yeah um so i just tore out a little bit from that and um because you know i printed this out so and then I have this tiny, tiny little deck of Uno cards that came in this box, and there's like a ton of them. Um, and so I put two of those cards in the front. And um, yeah, so I'm not very sure what I'm gonna do for, you know, this one, but I'll probably decide it soon. And as soon as I do decide, I will film a video for you guys. For you guys, I, I will try not to take a month again. I. I'm very bad about timing my videos and i'm sorry about that it's just you know i do exist <laughs> um but yeah so i'll come up with a sketch for this and then i'll do a video with you guys about some other things all right so yeah i will wait for the cover to dry and then i'll get started on this time thank you for watching today's video and i'll see you guys next time bye